the Executive Committee Functions Bill. I now call upon the Junior Minister, Mr Decton Kearney, to formally move the bill. I beg to move that the consideration stage of the Executive Committee Functions Bill be agreed. Uh, Mr. Beatty, Mr. Doug Beatty. Thank you. Um, and, and sorry for the late notice on this, um, but, it, but it's actually really important because it will help make um, decisions. And I hope that the, uh, the junior minister can answer this question. Um, if I look at clause one, part four, subsections eight and nine, uh, it says in eight and nine requires a minister uh, in both eight and nine. Um, can the junior minister confirm where it says a minister? It refers only to the minister for infrastructure. Uh, and doesn't extend it to any minister uh, within the executive. Uh, Mr. Kearney, could you reply on that uh, particular point? Thank you, Mr. Uh, temporary Speaker. So, it is necessary to clarify that. The circumstances in which a minister is required to refer a matter to the executive, where that matter may be cross-cutting, significant or controversial. What I want to add is that that does not affect the integrity of the planning process itself or the nature of the quality of the decisions that would be taken under it. It is about who takes the decisions. So, To the particular point raised by the member, uh, Clause 1, 4 inserts a new provision a section 20, uh, paragraph 7 of the NI Act, and that permits the Department for Infrastructure or the Minister in charge of that department to take certain decisions under the Planning Act without recourse to the Executive Committee. However, there is then a caveat to be entered under Clause 1 8, which qualifies section 20, paragraph 3 of the Act in respect of cross-cutting matters to provide that a minister is not required to have recourse to the executive committee unless a matter affects the exercise of one or more other ministers more than incidentally. I hope that provides some clarification to the member. Is Mr. Wood content with that explanation? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the junior minister. For, I thank the junior minister for point of order. Mr. O'Dowd. Uh, the Chairman Speaker just clarify for me what is actually happening at the moment. Is it a debate? Is it a statement? I am not sure what exactly process I am involved in at the moment. Uh, Mr. Beattie indicated on, on a point of order that he had concerns about the procedures. Uh, Mr. Kearney has given a very full and detailed response to the point. I understand that Mr. Beattie is content with that explanation. That being the case, can, can we move on? Uh, Mr. Kearney has formally uh, moved the motion. There are no amendments tabled to the bill. The questions on stand part will be put on each clause, uh, followed by the long title. Members understand? Uh, then I will put the question on clause one, stand part of the bill. All those in favour say aye. Uh, country no. Uh, aye. Aye. Uh, country no. I think the eyes have it. No. no. Then no. Clear. division. Clear the lobby. The question will be put in three minutes. Minutes. I would remind you that we shall continue to uphold social distancing, and that members who have proxy voting arrangements in place should not come into the chamber. Order. Order. Members, please resume your seats. Uh, before I put the question, I would once again remind members present that, if possible, it would be preferable if we could avoid a division. The question is that Clause 1 stand part of the bill. All those in favour say aye. 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 Against, no. No, no. Aye. 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 No. No. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. I think we're agreed on that. So uh, we now move on to Clause 2. Um, the question is that Clause 2 stand part of the bill. All those in favour say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. I believe the ayes have it. The ayes have it. 
the next uh, clause is clause three. The question is that clause three stand part of the bill. All those in favour, say aye. aye. Uh, contrary, no. no. Uh, aye. Those in favour, say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. Mr Carroll, do you accept that? Yes, the ayes have it. Uh, the question is that the long title be agreed. All those in favour say aye. aye. Uh, contrary, no. no. Uh, 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 those in favour say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Thank you. Uh, that concludes the consideration stage of the Executive Committee Functions Bill. Uh, the bill now stands referred to the Speaker. Can I remind members that the deadline for tabling amendments for further consideration stage is 9.30 a.m. tomorrow, tomorrow morning, so do, do remember that.